Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series today of the Daf Yomi. We are on Daf Chav Zayin of Mesachet Sota. That's page 27 of Tractate Sota. Very interesting conce- concepts I'm going to be learning today. There's a term in Aramaic called a Duma. So the question in today's Talmud is, is it permissible to marry a Duma or the daughter of a Duma? So first of all, you'll all be asking, what is a Duma here? So a Duma it naturally translated from Aramaic, is a woman that it, uh, there was rumors that she was unfaithful to her husband. So, you know, people, when they make rumors, you know, they might, a lot of times there's substance to it and everything else. Can you marry such a woman where there's all these rumors that she was unfaithful in a previous marriage to the husband? Is it permissible? Uh, or can you marry the daughter of this Duma, this woman? Because it could be this daughter uh, was not uh, conceived in the kosher way, it was uh, from an adulterous relationship, one could argue, if there was all those rumors uh, tagged on her. So first of all, the Gemara, I, th- I believe, will uh, strongly uh, suggest that the majority of times, the woman would have, if say, she would have been unfaithful, majority of times she would have been with a husband, so highly likely, uh, when you take into consideration the majority, uh, the child of uh, the daughter of this Duma, of this woman that's got this tag on her, is likely to be kosher, is likely to be have from the natural father also. However, the, the question is posed today, can you marry the Duma or the daughter uh, herself? So there's Machloket between Shmuel and Rabbi Yochanan. So Shmuel is actually going to say it is Mutar to actually marry the Duma, the woman where these rumors are about, but it's, it's potentially not uh, right to get married to the daughter of uh, this uh, a term called the Duma, of this uh, woman, uh, of the daughter. However, Rabbi Yochanan is going to say, no, it's forbidden to marry the Duma herself, the one that where there's uh, rumors about, but the daughter herself, that is perfectly fine. Rashi uh, clarifies, in his opinion, so do so many of the other Rabbanim, that Shmuel and Rabbi Yochanan are not forbidding them to get married, but they're strongly recommending that one of those people should not, uh, a, a regular person should not marry one of those specific people in those two different cases, but would not forbid it itself. And the Gomorrah actually is going to conclude that the daughter of this woman, where the rumors were against her, it is fine to marry her. The Gomorrah is going to uh, conclude that. And uh, that is fine because uh, what's the daughter done and everything else. And uh, as I stated before, majority of time, if it was true that she did those things, it's uh, highly likely it would have been the natural father's uh, child, the husband's uh, child, the daughter. So it would, she'd be a, a cheskat kashrut on, let's say, from a Talmudic perspective. However, the Me'eri is going to suggest that it's better to avoid a marriage with both of them in ideal case. But however... All throughout Jewish history, there's been different relationships. People are attracted to different people. But is this going to be allowed or not? These are different opinions. There's many more uh, different opinions. Many people weigh in. I'd very much recommend into looking at it. And uh, may all men and women be faithful to their husbands and their wives, In especially in the 21st century. Let's pray for harmonious relationships and good relationships for everyone. Guys, have an awesome day and keep learning the Daphiomi. Bye.